12.36 finally came out and I finally got it updated right in time before my trial ends. So we're going to be comparing this with the previous versions to see how much better FSD got. So we've already got our navigation set up, so I'm going to hit my stock. There's a car coming behind me right now and it caught that, so pretty good. I got scared for a little bit. But recently, Tesla just announced that they're gonna be partnering with Baidu from China um, to work on the FSD in, in China. Feet, turn right on so, very curious how that development is gonna look like, and that, that news actually made the stock soar to like 190s. I think it almost reached like 198, now turn right on almost to 200. But let's go ahead and see how it does on the stop sign here. So let's see how close it gets to the curb and how long it takes to actually creep up. So as before, it's creeping slowly. There's a car waiting, um, but it made it. So let's see what happens. Turn right onto East Road. Yeah, so as, as I was saying, the FSD, um, they made a lot of updates. So this is the newest one, and then they're going to be working with Baidu. Now and right there's been a lot of restrictions in China. Okay, so we're making it right here, and it's kind of <laughs> slow. Oh my god. Good thing that car behind us is pretty nice. It's letting us go. Yeah, so I think it kind of caught on a little bit late in terms of when to turn. So that part I wasn't very impressed, but at least it made it. I think if this were in downtown LA with like crazy traffic, people would be honking. Um, yeah, but as, as, as I was saying, um, the bike do, so let's, one second, let's see how it does on this right turn here. Okay, so this part is pretty good. All right, right turn at a green light, made it. And it's already passing up this car to go in the faster lane. So I think it did that last time too. There was a bus last time and it just passed by the bus. So it seems to be behaving very similarly. Um, yeah, so right now it's actually prime time. It's like 5.46 before getting off of work. So we might actually see more action happening. And it's passing up this car right here. And it's a green, a red light right here, so it's stopping. Good thing it didn't run that yellow, because I think I would have stopped too. Yeah, so as I was saying, uh, the news with China, so there's been a lot of restrictions in China in terms of um, their, their usage of FSD and like passing data outside of China to the US. So I'm very curious how that development is gonna look like in China. Because um, as you guys know, in China, the traffic is much more difficult than the traffic here. Like in China, I think people don't let other people uh, go when there's like a crosswalk, you know, the, it's, most, it's mostly like a driver's first mentality. So to obtain that data set there is gonna, I think really enhance their self-driving. But I think another option is if they're able to use the data they collected from the US, they could end up doing transfer learning to um, at least have a foundation, a start to train off of the new data that they're seeing. So for those that are new to AI transfer learning, what, what that is is you, you'll take the weights of something. So the weights are parameters inside your neural network model. And using these weights, uh, you could train it like, like let's say we're, let's see how it does on this turn on a red light first. So previously it was a turn on a green light. Let's see if it's, uh, if it'll figure out if it can turn. There's no cars right now, I would have turned already, but it's just waiting. And I think there's cars behind me a little bit impatient. Okay, I would have made the turn, but this car is being too safe. Now there's cars in front of me turning, so... Uh, I think this definitely could have been improved on. And it's still not going, <laughs> oh my god. This is pretty bad. Okay, it's waiting for that green. I would have turned on the red. Um, that's pretty bad, okay. That's a thumbs down for me. Okay, so as I was saying, um, what was I saying? Yeah, transfer learning. So the idea of transfer learning is, let's say, you know, we're going from version 12, we've seen 12.3.3, 0.4, 0.5, 0.6, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.10, 0.11, 0.12, 0.13, 0.14, 0.15, 0.16, 0.17, 0.18
0.5 and now 0.6, I actually skipped the 0.5 update. But with 0.6, you know, the idea is you do all this training in the US, I think what they could potentially do is do transfer learning. So they'll take the weights, which is like knobs, you can imagine like certain knobs that you're adjusting for your model to do a different prediction. And ideally the prediction would be better and better with more and more videos. But the idea with transfer learning is you're already working off of some weights that have been trained already. So they could use that and train a new data set that they collect in China, depending on how, how that's gonna look. But that's the whole idea of transfer learning is that you don't need to train from scratch. So um, even though the traffic conditions might be very different, I still think transfer learning will be a good uh, potential method because you know, there's still a lot of similarities. You have like lanes that have like lines, you have cars, you have people, you have people on bikes. So even though it's a completely different environment, I think there's still a lot of common ground. Um, but in terms of how much data that they actually need to perform, perform well, I think that's gonna be a big question mark. That was very close to that car. Um, yeah, so very hopeful in terms of I'm very hopeful that Tesla is going to solve full autonomy one day. Um, just a matter of how long it takes, I'm not quite sure. But eventually with autonomy fully solved, RoboTaxi is going to be, you know, it's going to happen. So there's like five levels of autonomy that I've talked about in the past. So we're pretty much at level two right now, which is you need a lot of human supervision. Uh, but to really get RoboTaxi, I think they need to definitely hit at least like level 3 or 4 to even show that it's viable. But level 5 is like the ultimate level, but what, what that level is, is you don't need a steering wheel, you don't need brakes. Everything is going to be controlled. That was again very close. Um, yeah, so level 5 is everything is fully controlled and completely autonomous. You don't need human intervention, no supervision required. It's gonna be the holy grail of AI in terms of real world application. So, pretty sad that my trial is gonna be ending. Um, I may just end up subscribing to make these uh, test drives, but you know, I always love it when there's new tech out there and I always wanna see where new tech breaks, so. Hopefully we'll see something interesting today. We have about four more minutes before our ride is done. But we had some previous videos that does this exact same drive, so you could go ahead and compare it. It's gonna be the 12.3.3, and um, that one is actually the exact same route. The 12.3.4 is slightly different because I had a different starting location. And that one was actually at night too, so you could compare it with that and this one. But I would say so far it's doing pretty well. I can't see any very significant differences. Um, but besides earlier in the back, I think like that turn at the red lights, I was pretty disappointed with that. But nonetheless, you know, FSD in terms of how far it has come is definitely still very impressive. But, you know, as being a tech person, I'm pretty critical in terms of like evaluating these things. So. I have high expectations for Elon Musk. But right now we're another red. Um, this time we're already actually already in the right lane. I think in my previous video, it didn't get to the right lane until much later. Um, this might be due to the traffic conditions right now, but it's already gonna be ready to make that right turn there. And in my previous video too, there was actually a biker right at this right turn and the car caught it, so that was pretty good. In 1,000 feet, turn right onto Gale Avenue. Yeah, so if you guys are interested in investing in Tesla, not financial advice, um, I highly, I highly recommend you to understand their technology and see if you actually believe in it too, like I do. Uh, but recently, it hit a low of like 138, and it's back up to like 190s probably over like a 20% gain. So seems like a good buying opportunity right now. Everyone before earnings was kind of very like, uh, everyone was like short Tesla. And then now all of a sudden everyone is, you know, 
long Tesla, so it's pretty funny yeah, how right people Dan change Avenue. how people change opinions so quickly. Yeah, so the way the robo taxi is gonna work eventually is um, the right now everyone who owns a Tesla, you know, you imagine you're driving to work. Maybe your commute is only like 30 minutes and you're gonna be in the office for let's say like eight or eight to nine hours. So what Elon Musk is proposing, that was a little pretty bad. The the car kind of cut over the lanes a little bit. I think it's not quite good at these curvy roads, but yeah, so the way Robo Taxi is gonna work once it's fully implemented is you know people with a Tesla, what they can actually do is contribute their car to the fleet. So the fleet is the collection of all the Tesla vehicles that's going to be out to be like taxis. So the idea is that people could um, contribute their car to the fleet so um, you could actually be earning money because your car could be driving other people while you're at work or something. So it's kind of like the concept of Airbnb where you rent out your vehicle. But right now we've arrived and making an unprotected left. It waited for that car and it's making a left immediately, so that's pretty good. Now your destination is on the and way. we've made it to the parking lot, so yeah, I think overall it did pretty well. And if you want to learn more, subscribe and stay tuned. See you next time.